Hey guys, Zane from the Infinite Jukebox here with another quick album review, and today I want to talk about the new Boris record, Fade. Fade is the latest studio album from Japanese experimental rock slash metal band Boris, as well as the band's third studio album this year so far. Boris's first album this year was the incredibly disappointing W, a record that just tried to experiment with drone metal and ambient music, but kind of fell flat on its face and was one of the most unremarkable and one of the most disappointing albums of the year for me. However, they thankfully followed it up with another version of the Heavy Rocks series, this time being referred to by many, including myself, as Heavy Rocks 22, and it was a great record overall that I heavily enjoyed, one of my favorites of the year so far. It really just was one of the most blistering outings that Boris have put out in quite some time, and if you haven't heard it, I do highly recommend checking Checking it out whether you're a Boris fan or not. But now here they are with their third studio album of 2022, Fade, and they're going back to drone metal just in a much more successful manner than W ever did. As stated, Fade is heavily structured around drone metal just like its predecessor W was, but at the same time, the reason that Fade works so much better is because it feels a lot more creatively confident, like it has direction and it knows what it's trying to do. To clarify, W was doing some admirable experimentation, but it didn't seem to know what it was actually trying to accomplish, or what direction it was trying to go into, or how to build things up properly. Fade is the exact opposite, and mind you, there are some moments on Fade that feel slightly directionless, or like they're not going to morph into anything particularly interesting, but nonetheless, when it does know what it's doing, it does it incredibly well. It's an incredibly heavy, powerful, and at times even moving atmosphere that I do recommend if you do enjoy drone music of any kind. So overall, Fade is more of an introduction kind of piece for those who are not familiar with drone metal, and sure, it is a bit overly long, and Boris have done much better drone metal records in the past, a lot of their classics are within the drone metal realm, but this one is still worth checking out if you're not familiar with drone metal, or you just like drone metal already and want something new from one of the legends of the subgenre. I also do want to clarify that for the moment at least, this record is only officially available on Bandcamp, so you'll have to go there if you want to find it, but trust me, if this sounds interesting to you, then it's probably worth it. I'm going to give this record 3.5 stars out of 5. And with that being said, that's the end of this quick album review. I've been Zane from the Infinite Jukebox, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.